Connor Jack Oswalt was 17 years old when on September 29, 2019, he was reported missing in Clear Lake, California. The teenager, who was diagnosed with autism and other mental health conditions in 2014, had a history of leakage. However, when he didn't return home on his usual schedule, his family feared the worst. Suzanne Flint, the mother, distributed posters with his photo, searched all possible social networks for clues and constantly reviewed the databases of missing children as well as hospitals and morgues. Two years after Connor Jack's disappearance, his mother and stepfather moved to Idaho Falls after forest fires destroyed their home. Connor Jack was born in Idaho, and his mother hoped that he could decide to return there if he was still alive. On April 9, 2022, Suzanne received the call for which all the parents of a missing child pray. It was the authorities claiming that they had located Connor Jack in Utah and that he was alive. Several weeks before identifying Connor Jack, the Summit County Sheriff's Office had received several calls reporting what appeared to be a homeless man pushing a supermarket cart. Although this is common in some places, it was not the case in this area due to the icy temperatures that result from the great elevation. The officers responded to complete a check of the person's well-being, and when they contacted, they rejected the attendance and denied his name. They had no reason to take the matter further, since he had not committed any crime of which they were aware. On April 9, the standard social assistance check became much more. That night, the police received a call reporting that a man was sleeping outside Jeremy's store, a local gas station. When the officers arrived and found him trembling, they let him sit in their car to warm up while they tried to find out who he was. Although he has not yet shared his name, he agreed to allow the agents to scan his fingerprints. Lieutenant Andrew Wright felt that there was more in this young man's history and was determined to put the pieces together. He asked his dispatcher to check the tickets on the website of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They found a list of Connor Jack Oswald. He found the description of the young man with whom the officers had gone out. It was also noted that Oswalt was described as autistic, which would explain why he seemed to communicate differently. Lieutenant Wright immediately began making phone calls, including those from the Clear Lake Police Department. On April 9, 2022, Suzanne received a phone call from a lieutenant in the Summit County Sheriff's Office in Utah. He explained that he had gone out with a young man and, after investigating a little, he thought it was her son, Connor Jack. To confirm the theory, Suzanne informed him that her son has a birthmark on his neck. When the birthmark was found and it was confirmed that is her son, who is now 19 years old, was alive, her husband, Gerald, got into his car and went to Utah. They wondered if their biggest sentence had been answered, or if this would end up being another dead end. Suzanne and Gerald had been given many false hopes over the years, with possible sightings and clues that resulted in nothing. Gerald drove 240 miles to Park City, Utah which is approximately 30 miles from Salt Lake City. When he arrived and confirmed that the man was actually Connor Jack, he immediately called his wife, who asked, Is it him? A little older, said Gerald, but yes. Connor Jack Oswald was transported to a treatment center where social workers took proper care of him. He is still currently on the premises, but the Flints plan to take him home to Idaho Falls once he is discharged. Although his family is grateful that he is alive and safe, there are many unanswered questions. Why did he permanently run away from his house? Where have you been and how have you survived the last three years? Will you return voluntarily to your family and make Idaho Falls your home? Will it take off again? Hopefully, Connor Jack will be able to answer some of these questions during his treatment. However, others can only be answered over time. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and do not forget to like, comment and share this video.